Hey guys, today I have something really interesting to show you. This is Stable Diffusion's Focus Web UI. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. There's just three O's in there. So again, it's Focus Web UI. It's a simplicity interface designed easy for everyone. And uh, basically, this is just how it looks. You don't see any complex or advanced stuff in here. Basically, it's just this one. This is a very big screen that actually kind of like incorporates everything in here. And basically, this is is where we are going to see our image so you can type your prompt here this is our prompt and then we can click advanced for this to pop up so from here you will be able to type your negative prompt down here and then if we are going to click this one all right we can put our seed number in here now i'm just going to click this one again we don't need a seed for now and then here we have a performance mode you can have it a speed you can focus on speed if you want to have the image as fast as possible or you can also click quality another thing that we are going to see are the aspect ratios so for the aspect ratios there's there are already given aspect ratios here that you can choose from you're just going to click and that is the thing that we're going to do for today as well so say for example in my case i want the width to be a little bit smaller and then i want the height to be higher because i want this to be more on like a portrait image so i'm going to click for example this one 76a 1280p so that's what we're going to use and then i'm going to click quality for now and then for the batch number or image number i'm going to change this to say for example about uh six images i want to try to have six images and then for the style you can choose here different styles we have cinematic this is by default and then you have here like photographic origami and so many others to choose from now if we are going to click advanced here the thing that we're going to see are the models so this is sdxl base model and this is also sdxl refiner so we are using both of them for the loras you can also find here you can actually put up to five loras that's how amazing it is and then you can just adjust the weight by just scrolling in here or back here so i'm just going to go back here by default again this is 0 0.5 and then we're going to uh, scroll down and we're going to check advanced all right, for advanced, it says here sampling sharpness. So by default, this is actually two. And we're not going to touch that actually. We're going to go back here. So again, the performance is quality. And then we're just going to type here for our prompt. For example, we're going to say Emilia Clark as Queen Mera from Aquaman in DC Universe. And then for the negative prompt, we're just going to leave it at that. And then this time again, six images, we're going to try it. And what we are trying, I just want to say to you guys that this is actually also possible if you're going to generate this through phone. You can actually use Focus using your phone. You just have to use a Google Colab in order for it to work. If you are interested, this is me showing you guys Focus using my mobile phone. So my mobile phone actually has 8GB of RAM and the processor that I have is a Kirin 990 from Huawei. And yes, I'm using Huawei device. And it's actually working pretty well with my phone. It was able to generate image very fast and it didn't have a lot of problem actually. So I was able to do it and use it just as it is. And yeah, it's actually very good. All right, there you go. So now we have these images. We have around six and we're going to open them one by one. So I'm going to basically just do this. All right, there you go. So this is our first image. And yes, this is actually generated by focus or focus, should I say. <laughs> All right, so this is Amelia Clark and look at that detail. That's really amazing. I think she fits perfectly for the role. And then this is the other one. Wow, take a look at that. Does it look like AI generated image? No, right? That's actually pretty amazing. There are also, wow, other details in the back. There are people here. Wow. All right. This is really amazing. Okay. So yes, that's how you're going to use focus, everyone. <laughs> Again, if you're interested, you may try to use it with your phone. Just make sure that your phone has at least 8 gigabytes of RAM. All right. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you again in the next tutorial. Again, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like. And if ever you have any questions, don't forget to comment down below. We'll be happy to talk to you.